Push down his own party. Rita, can't you find it in your heart? To help him. Hello there, my name is Jason Spencer Galsworthy and I'm one of the supervising animators on DreamWorks Animations and Arden Features film Flushed Away. And today I'm going to show you how to make a slug. I've got a few things to help me build this. I've been using modeling clay that's oil based, which means it doesn't dry out. And I've got some cocktail sticks and I've got some tools. So here's like a tool that I use to do detail. And here's one that I use to do larger areas. And this is my rolling tool. These are wet wipes so that I can clean my hands between uh, using different pieces of clay because the color comes onto your hands. First, I'm gonna start with some green clay, which I'm gonna use to make the body of the slug. I'm going to roll it and I'm going to make basically uh, a long, tubey, sluggy shape. Got that shape, sausage, thin at one end, thick at the other. And I'm just going to bend it into a slug shape. So, I think that's pretty a decent body. What I like to do and you see it's got little lines here. I like to sometimes just pop those in a bit. Just make little score marks. So it looks like the body's creasing a little bit. It's quite important, I find, to use my fingers uh, more than any tool, actually. You see, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll pop a crease in, but then I'll go with my fingers and smooth it out. Okay, I think that's a, a reasonable body. I like to leave the, the fingerprints in. It's kind of a, it's an Ardman style to keep it a little bit look like it's been touched. I'm going to take a cocktail stick and break it off. So now I'm just going to put the plasticine around the cocktail stick. So I end up with a little wooden spike on the end of some plasticine. Okay, so I've got my little stalk on a stick. I'm just gonna push it in there. And then I'll clean it up. You see, I, I haven't used many tools yet. And like I say, I try to avoid using tools too much. I like to use my hands. I think that's where the real art comes in. Let's see. So I've got a little wooden tool that I will use, or I could just use a cocktail stick. It's just as good, actually. And I'm just going to roll this into the body of the plasticine so that it seems like one smooth skin surface. Again, I'm just making another little, uh, little eye stalk. I'm just going to pop that one in there. There we go. The reason I put the stalks, the plasticine on cocktail sticks with the stalks, is because they probably fall over otherwise, because plasticine isn't very strong. Now I'm going to make some eyes. Now this is where the uh, wet wipes come in. I can clean all this green off, because I'm going to handle white plasticine now, and I don't want any of the green to go onto the white, especially with eyes, because eyes, uh, it's very important to have them really white because you get that contrast against the skin and it gives them a lot of life. Love, 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 love. Mm. Again, always keeping my tools clean so that they don't get the spread the plasticine colour onto bits of plasticine that I don't want to be the colour that's on the tool. I'm going to make, make a little half a ball here. Half a ball. And that's going to make the other eye. And now I'm actually going to make the backs of the eyes. And then do a little clever thing. So I use a bit of this. 
a bit of this, and a bit of this. making a little ball for the backs of the eyes as well. I'm gonna, what can I use to cut them in half? I'll use a wooden tool. So again, I chop this little green one in half. Make, make another little half a circle. And now I'm just going to push these together, make the eyes. There you go, there's one eye. So then we take these eyes, and we just push them onto the eye stalks. Like so. It's starting to look like a slug. Just going to cut a hole again with a wooden tool. This is going to be the shape of the mouth that I want to put on. And I'm going to make this one do. Uh, uh, something like that. Like at the end of the film, where they're running for the, uh, running away from the giant tidal wave. go. It's quite a mess at the moment, but I'll go in and I'll clean it up. It's just about getting rid of plasticine, where I don't want it at the moment. Okay, I'll go with my little finger and just clean all that up. Can you see the plasticine's torn? And I'm actually shaping the mouth now to the expression that I want them to have. So now I'm going to put some teeth in and then I can put some lips around him. Okay, so all I'm going to do to do the teeth, I'm going to make a, I'm going to roll a little piece of clay and then I'm just going to pop it into the mouth. Like so. So see, I've made it kind of curve in the same way as the mouth to emphasize that expression, to make it bigger. And now I'm just going to put little lines in the teeth. Well, actually making it into a teeth rather than a bar of white. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing for the top teeth. OK, I'm going to give her some pink lips. So I'm going to mix some plasticine for this. I'm just going to take some white, some red, not that much red. The red is really strong. And just mix them together. I think that's going to work. OK, so quite simply, I'm just going to roll this plasticine out to make some lips. So I basically have a tube. <laughs> and I'm going to dangle this around the lips. You can see, as soon as I put it on, she starts to come to life. I'm going to make sure I get that little shape I wanted. This is where you're really going to feel the shape of the, of the expression of the character. Now, looking inside the mouth now, I can see that she needs a tongue, because it looks like she's missing a tongue and that's because she is. It's all these little details that really help to bring the character to life. So the tongue, I love it when I get a chance to make a tongue hang out of a character. There's a shot in the film where uh, the toad, in Flushed Away, where the toad is talking to a cable, of all things, and he's laughing at it and he's going like this. Just take it. And that was a great opportunity. I always look for opportunities to make characters' tongues hang out.
the girl slug in the picture has a blue eyeshadow, uh, which is the effect of, of, of giving her blue shad eyeshadow is made by giving her blue eyelids. So we're going to give her blue eyelids. So I'm going to mix up some blue to the right colour. We don't need very much. That's plenty. That will probably do 20 female slugs that amount of blue for eyelids. Uh, that feels a little bit too bright to me, so I'm just going to tone it down with some, uh, it's like a flesh colour I guess. So I need the tiniest, tiniest amount of this. Uh, actually, I'm not going to put that on yet, I'm going to put the eyeballs on first, the pupil, the black bit in the middle. I'm just going to take some black plasticine. The reason I'm putting this bit on first is because what I may do with the lid is just cover the top of the pupil. So see I'm drawing a tiny, tiny ball, two tiny balls. And all I'm going to do is just put them on the eye. So now, there we go, suddenly the character's alive, yeah? Okay, so I'm making these lids, and what I'm making is a little, can you see this? I'm doing making a little half circle, yeah? And I'm just going to push that over the top of the eye. Again. Okay, one more thing for the ladies is uh, to put eyelashes on the eyes. So I'm just going to roll some black plasticine. Now this is tricky because you need to make it quite thin to do eyelashes. And I'm just going to lay it across the underside of the eye, or underside of the uh, eyelid and then just have it coming up at the edge. And then I'll do the same on the other side. So again, I'll wrap it around the underside of the eye, underside the lid, sorry. And I'll leave a long bit on the end. So she's nearly finished. In fact, she is finished. So there you go. That's the slug from Flushed Away. I hope you have fun making her. But the most important thing is just to get some plasticine and push it together and enjoy it. And use whatever colours you like. Just enjoy it. Sculpting's fun. I like it. High five! Oh, yeah.